Good morning, everybody. Helen Pina Gal back with another review. Hope everybody's doing wonderful today. Um, I will start off with my Facebook group and how I came about these pencils. Every day I go to Amazon's Today's Deals and I look up in the arts and crafts sections and find any type of pencil or marker deal that I can and I post it in our group. This is a set of color pencils I came across for $25 and it is by Starjoy, 120 colors and um, they're kind of a soft core. They're not as hard as, let's say, Crayola, but they're not quite as soft as Faber-Castell, but they're right up there with almost with Prismacolors. But these, I, I really like them so far, I'm, I'm not going to lie, they come in a tin that's about two inch thick and I love tins, I'm a sucker for them, I collect them for every reason. The colors, the swatches, come on the outside of the tin along with the number of the pencils. And then when you open the tin up <clears throat> and look on the inside of the lid, they have every color that's in this in this tin along with the number, which is also printed on the pencil. I don't know if you can get these individually or not. I didn't think about um, looking at that. I know with Prismacolors and Faber-Castells you can, but... I'll look and if you can I'll add a little note side note when I edit the video for you guys so so back to the colors beautiful beautiful colors vibrant colors I love them um, look at these aren't they gorgeous these oranges now I have a couple of them that are missing because these are the ones I'm gonna use um, when I show you how they lay down on paper but <clears throat> I would suggest this is very annoying to me and I'm not sure why it's like this but when I started coloring with them straight out of the box, the it's sharpened to a flat edge, not a point, and it's really annoying. So I would suggest definitely giving a twist or two in your pencil sharpener and bring those to a, a, a fine point before you color with them. <clears throat> Look at these colors. Beautiful pinks, beautiful purples, beautiful yellows everything a good selection of grays and browns um now the yellows and the pinks are a tad bit more waxier than all the colors uh, but i find that to be true with almost all all color pencils the yellows and pinks seem to be a lot waxier and harder to blend but it's doable it's not it's not a turn off it's not a no it doesn't make this you know a bad review okay so what i'm gonna do next and show you how these colors lay down. Now, the uh, the paper or the cardstock that you use makes a huge difference with these pencils and pretty much any pencils that you use as far as to how many layers that the paper will grab <clears throat> on your pencils. This is a forest forest rose. Let me look. Yeah, for it's by Action Publishing. Uh, forest trails I'll put a link to it down in the um, description box for you if you want or I will but <clears throat> I probably I don't know how many times how many layers of colors I used on these but I played with it for quite some time so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this and I'm also going to show you um, how it lays down on some cheaper paper uh, kind of like computer paper in books that you get from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or um, Walmart it's it's not as thick at all it's just like paper that you get from a computer printer uh, whereas this is cardstock it's heavy it's heavy paper you're going to be able to do more with it but here in a few minutes I'll show you the difference in how they lay down on the two types of papers as well as how well they blend with the blender pencil and Gamsol so let's just jump in here um, again, I'm not a professional artist. I'm not a professional colorist. I, I I go with what I'm learning on my own and through watching other videos over the years. So basically, I, I teach as I go. I mean, I teach as I learn, I guess I should say. So um, what I say is not set in stone, definitely not set in stone. That's another good thing about our Facebook group is that there's a lot of people that are on different levels in their journey of coloring and they share. They like to, you know, help other people grow and, and, and give them advice as to what 
kind of mediums, you know, give the results that people are looking for. It's full of wonderful men and women, um, very talented, very skilled. You should go join. I'll put a link again down in the description. I'll put a link for you guys. Uh, they, do you see how these, it's just like, it's laying down like butter. I'm just really surprised they're only $25. Well, now they're 30 because they're not on sale anymore. But I, I was, I'm just really amazed. These are really nice pencils, you guys. You should give them a go. If you're, you know, at a point in your coloring career, even if you've been doing it for a while or uh, your coloring journey, I should say, give it a go. If you're looking for a change up or, you know, if you've just started coloring and you see this and this is where you want to be, but you can't seem to figure it out. Your pencils just, they're not working. They're not blending that way. Try something else. <clears throat> so that's two. Now I'm coming in with the red and my dog is determined to keep interrupting my videos. <laughs> so we will get this done. I think this is the third go around now. Jeez, sounds like a herd of elephants up there, doesn't it? Must mean daddy's home. He's the good one out of us. He goes to church. I'm not saying I'm a bad person, but you know. another little layer of orange and this is what four now four times I've come on top of this okay I'm so sorry I got interrupted hubby came home ignored the note do not disturb okay so <coughs> I don't remember where I was but I know that we were coloring on this one right here so Let's just pick up there. I'm gonna come in and watch this. With this uh, yellow, this is one thing I do love about these pencils, is uh, it's almost like it's having the same effect as a blender pencil, just by going over it. And it's kinda uh, blending them all, muddying them is what I like to call it. Yes, I wouldn't really need to use any of the Gamsol on this one, but I'm going to practice with the other page here in a second and show you what it does. All right, now I'm going to come back in with my brown, or excuse me, raw umber number 104 and hit the tips of the leaves. I can't remember which layer I'm on here, but I'm at least five. They really are soft, but they're not so soft that they're crumbly. I'm almost getting to a point where I'm not going to be able to put any more pencil on top because the tooth of the paper is just about gone or filled. this little section in here.
come back on top with this yellow and watch what happens. Well, these are definitely worth $30. What do you guys think? I think it needs a little bit more red. That's beautiful. These colors are very vibrant. <clears throat> well, let's see. Blender pencil. See what happens. I think I used the blender pencil on this leaf. No, I didn't. So what I'm gonna do on this one is grab some of this Gamsol for you guys and see what happens. I'm kinda scared too. Cause I really love the way the leaf looks already. <laughs> so let's see. Mm. Yes, works very well. Yeah, I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. But now, what we're going to do is switch up our books. And we're going to go with the book that has the cheaper paper in it. Now, just because this book has cheaper paper in it doesn't make it a bad book. I really love it. It's Cut Cutie Patootie Volume 1 by Amanda Rose Rambo. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me make sure we can get on camera here. Okay, and I'm just going to work with some of the, the grass, the blades of grass here. Let's go with, yeah, let's go with this one, and let's go with, yeah, let's go with this darker one here. This one. Oh, see, and this one is uh, the tip is squared off like I mentioned earlier, so we're gonna have to sharpen. You can definitely tell the difference in the way it lays down on good quality paper and cheaper paper. It's not a bad thing. It still has good coverage. It's still pretty smooth, but you can just kind of feel the difference. It's not something I can really explain, I don't think. Good coverage. Light layers, don't forget.
we'll say this is our first layer. Gonna go in with the darker. Well, actually, let's go like this first. Layer two. Now I'm going to go in with the dark, so this will be layer three. Oh, it kind of feels like that might be the, maybe I might get one or two more in there. Which this really doesn't have a whole lot to do with the pencils per se versus the paper, but the pencils are doing a really good job on this paper too. <clears throat> About three, do I say three layers on this one? I'm gonna come out with this one for my fourth layer. And remember, I told you that the yellows and the pinks were a little bit waxier. Um, this one's pretty waxy too, but not, not too bad. Like that. I'm going to come back in with one more and see if I can get it to be a little darker. Yep. So they work pretty well on cheaper paper too. Getting that good little blend. I, I like these guys. I think that, um, I think you should get them. Let me pull out this gam call again and see what happens. New bottle, I'm almost out. They work really well with the mineral spirits. Like that. I used a blender pencil on this blade right here, but I'm gonna go back in. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys get these pencils. For sure. Okay, I'm gonna come in one more time with this blade right here. Sorry if my hand gets in the way. Now see this green is, oh, it's called hooker's green. <laughs> it it's, doesn't seem to be as dark as what the, the actual color is. Let me see, on the pencil. Oh, well, I guess it is, my bad. The hooker is true. Sorry. When I layer it on top of this other green though, it's nowhere near as dark. But it's still, you just need to add some more layers. That's all that here comes. <laughs> now I'm kind of scared to see what the name of the other colors are. Let's see. Why don't they just call it money? This time I'm going to use the blender pencil and show you guys how well it, how well it works with these. 
Yeah, it does. It works nice. Alright, so yay! That works really nice too. <clears throat> and out of curiosity, we have to go and look at the, <laughs> the names on these pencils. Purple Lake, Purple Blue, Cobalt Purple, Mauve Deep. Okay, so I guess that's the only one that's Maybe I'm the dumb one here, and that's actually a color. I've never heard of it. Okay, so, yes. All in all, these pencils are great. I really like them, and I think that you guys should pick them up. If you're looking for a new pencil, or if you're looking for a better way to blend, um, especially beginners, these will work. These will transition you right into Prismas and Faber-Castells, so... Um, don't forget to subscribe below if you would like to join our Facebook group you can go into the description box and I will post a link down there as well as a link to all the products that are in this video so you guys have a great day